Chanel Hot Springs. Yikes. I might get sued for this video. <laughs> ah, would I do it again? Absolutely not. Never, ever in my life. Anyways, I think this is a great way. That's a great way to start my review of China Hot Springs. Let us get into it, y'all. What is good, y'all? My name is Sir Charles the Poet. Welcome to Life of the Poet. So this video is my review of China Hot Springs. So um, the year is 2022. And I worked at, I had the privilege of working at China Hot Springs from the month of May to the month of September. And then I got fired <laughs> in the end of September. So, but this video is not about me getting fired. There's another video for that. <laughs> Let's talk about um, how, my review of the company. What did I think of the company? When talking about China Hot Springs, there are two things to consider, okay? Two, there are there two categories. You can't just talk about it as a one thing, especially if you work there. There are two things to, to, to talk about. There is the employees, so company culture, and then there is the resort itself as a physical as a physical place. So let's go with the resort as a physical place. <sighs> the resort is beautiful. It's a beautiful. It's a it's a, it's a beautiful resort. I'll 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 give it, I'll I'll give that. It's a beautiful resort. It's it's like a paradise over there. It's with the trees, the hot springs, the moose walking around, because <laughs> that is their land. Um, the animals. It's 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 nice. It's 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 very nice there. They, like the the CEO did a great job, um, building um the 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 resort as a place from from an outside point of view. Amazing place. A great place. Now, you look a little bit deeper. And a lot of these things I'm saying, it, they're reviews that I got from customers. Okay? The one thing I, I get the most complaints about is, is, is the housekeeping. The housekeeping team. Um, I've never worked in a housekeeping team, so I'm not going to talk badly about anybody who was, who, who the, anybody in the housekeeping team while I was there. But the reviews that I get, like how dirty the rooms are, how unkempt for the, the, the living areas are, the customers just do not, do not, did not approve of that at all. And, and customers waiting to get their rooms when they had booked their rooms already, they have a, a room booked, but it's not clean or some the, the person has not moved out yet. It's, it's a whole mess. And... And there's that. Then there's also also the um the lies, the lies, the lies. Like the geothermal thing. Like I was a tour guide there. And um and I, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about that. I was a tour guide for a short while until I became a three fifths tour guide. <laughs> I was a tour guide there. And all the information that I had to tell that I had to tell customers about about how the geothermal thing works. And then the the longer I stay at the resort, the more I like like talk to people who actually know what's going on at the resort. The more I find out, hold up, the information I tell customers, it's not one hundred percent true. Hmm, it's like a gift. Um, on the outside, the gift is beautiful, but on the inside, it's like it's like an M and M. You. <laughs> It's a, it's a beautiful, nice M&M. You know, you're waiting to, to dig your teeth into chocolatey goodness. And as soon as you bite, there's nuts inside of it. <laughs> and you are mad. You are angry. So, but... So that's the company. The second part of the review is the personal. Is, 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 the, is the employee, the employees. Um, the, the work culture. What's the work culture like? If you may ask, what is the work culture like, Sir Charles? Toxic. It's toxic. I have met amazing people at, at Chino Hot Springs, like angels on earth type of people at Chino Hot Springs. But at the same time, I've met people that are so like evil oh my god how can you be so mean how can not just me how can you be so 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 evil everybody who works at china hot springs also live there 
in the nearest town is an hour and a half away. Okay? The nearest town is a is a one hour and a half away. So you can put two and two together. What happened? Drama. Drama, drama, drama. And when I say an hour and a half away, the nearest town is a hour, an hour and a half drive away. Okay? Um so and most people never don't have cars. So we just like we just we just stay there. We just we just we're, we're stuck there. Your coworker is who you're dating. <laughs> your your coworker is who you have a crush on. Your coworker is 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 is, is who is your your best friend at the at the resort. Who you hang out with after after work. Your manager is who you go to the bar with to get a drink. Legit, your your manager, the CEO, is who you go to the bar with to get a drink. So um so being so close to people in power, you can already see the the potential problems that can, that can happen. Um and the gossiping, the gossiping. Nobody nobody is nobody is um is friends nobody is your friend the not even the walls it's like the gossip is so much at the resort that it's like the walls have ears and the walls talk back too and management there is no like hierarchy management like if i if the if the regular employees at the bottom of the of the of the hierarchy have problem nobody nobody um nobody can come to the rescue and that's what that's what I suffered from. I was I was getting I was getting discriminated at my workplace, like legit discriminated at my workplace. And who who could I go to? I can go to the GM. I d actually did go to the GM, but like nothing happened because because my manager, nobody can tell her what to do. I went I went to the GM and the HR and the HR. The HR she's a wonderful wonderful young girl, but nobody takes her seriously. Not my manager, not the CEO. Nobody takes her seriously. She's an amazing person, though, like legit amazing person. But I can't rely on her because because nobody takes her seriously. So I was having problems at the workplace, and my and so I went to the GM and the and the HR the HR person to to come to complain or like to ask for help. And one day later, my manager pulled me aside. It got mad at me, yelling at me, stomp, and and she was saying that nobody can tell her how to run her department. Nobody can tell her what to do. If um if don't go behind her back to try to to try to um to complain ab about her. Uh, that so so it's like I went to bring up a valid complaint to the higher ups, but but um it somehow got back to her. I don't know how because I feel because <laughs> the thing is that when I go to talk to HR, I expect a certain level of, 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 of privacy. But like I said, rumors, somehow I won't talk to, I won't talk to HR and a GM, but somehow that made its way. I mean, they probably made its way back to, to the manager because, because, um, they talked to her about it, but if they did, they probably would have brought like some punishments or like how she has to not, not, not do that to her, to her, to her subordinates. But I ended up getting in trouble with her instead. Um, so yeah, like there are amazing people over there, but they're also just people who are just evil, you know, evil. It is not, it is not good for mental health. The amount of good, good, the amount of amazing people who who were working there and who resigned because they because they said I, yeah, this company is not is not good for for their mental health. One thing that I used to say when I was working there is that the more time I spent at the company, the farther I got from the grace of God. <laughs> Which was a joke, people laughed at, but really, hmm, the farther I got from the grace of God. What is good guys, Sir Charles the Poet here. So as I'm editing this video, <clears throat> um, I noticed that if I give you a, a review of the company, there's a few things I should mention, um, like logistics to help people who do decide to go work in that company and the, the few things are like logistics you know what in fact so um you get free housing at china hot springs which is which is incredible you get free housing and free food um so free food is is actually lunch and dinner yeah you only so you get free housing and you get free lunch and free dinner um there's a kitchen staff that cook that cook um lunch for you and they cook dinner for you um, and as for breakfast, they do provide like stuff like cereal. 
but that's that's the that's the best you get as far as fruits is concerned you don't get there is, there is no fruits because actually fruits don't well not because but there, you don't get any fruits fun fact fruits do not grow in alaska that's one thing i learned that when i got to alaska there are no fruits that fruits do not there are no fruits that grow in alaska fun fact but yeah so um as far as living um room and board you don't pay for room and board um the food i mean it's not the best food i've had like i have had better food at other resorts that i've worked at but it's free it's, it's not it's not terrible it's free what are you gonna do drive 56 miles <laughs> to 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 get your own food which i did that for breakfast I, I got my own breakfast and bought my own fruits in the nearby town but um yeah, and as for vegetables, you get vegetables for lunch and dinner. But yeah, cool. So that's room and board. And w what you do pay for is um, your mental health. No, <laughs> what you do pay for is Wi-Fi. If you want, if you want Wi-Fi, you have to pay for Wi-Fi at the resort. Um, and, and the Wi-Fi, unfortunately, is not that good. <laughs> the Wi-Fi is not that good. Um, me being somebody, I don't even stream. I just. I just am online a lot on social media or like searching stuff or uploading videos on YouTube. I know I had a terrible experience with my Wi-Fi. Um, and some websites are also blocked, which is like so ghetto. <laughs> some websites are blocked like, on, with, with their Wi-Fi. So that's one thing you have to consider. So yeah, you, you have to pay for Wi-Fi. You get free room, you get free food and no breakfast. Um, as for the rooms, I guess everyone's first room is a different experience. My first one was a pretty tiny room, and I, I I I had a closet, I had a bed, and I had a couch in the room. But like I had this amount of space to move around the room. So like you might you might think, oh, we have a lot of stuff in the room. No, I had this amount of space to move around the room. Um, yeah, but but and then first come first serve, you can upgrade to better rooms. Put in put in a request when you are when you are when you are um when you are i guess eligible for a better room you can you can um you can put in a request for um to move to a better room and the hr person whoever's in charge will will try to get you a better room a more spacious room i know i yeah i i got i got moved to a better room um pretty quickly for for several reasons but yeah that's that's basically it and if you want to go to town, I guess I gotta say this. Like again, town is fifty six miles away. Most people don't have a car. If you want to go to town, there 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 are there are shuttles, uh, company shuttles um, that that go to town um, every day. That is, but you can unless you unless you're willing to pay for a shuttle, which is about thirty dollars, I think, or ninety dollars. You can only go to town if a customer had already booked a shuttle to go to town. So. The customer books a shuttle, and there's if there's an extra seat in the shuttle, you go, you you ask for, hey, ask for, um, you ask the person who's in charge of the of transportation to give you a seat in the shuttle, and yeah, so that's how, so that's that's a few things that I think are important to know as far as a work culture, a logistics of living there is concerned. <laughs> okay, so that's the company, and that's the. And that's the the company review and that's the, the the culture review of the company when people ask me um like when people ask me about about the about like where i used to work i said i went to alaska i worked at china hot springs they have a, they have um natural hot springs the hot springs are not natural they say that but they're not natural they're man-made um <laughs> they say um they say people tell me, "Oh, you you work at a, at a at a hot springs resort? How is it over there? Can I like I want to go there? I want to go to Alaska. I want to go to the resort." And I tell them the truth: Don't waste your money. There are better better resorts in Alaska, much better resorts in Alaska. Don't waste your money. So now now that like, people ask me like about my experience, I tell them the truth: It was terrible. Don't do it. Like, if you want to go to Alaska, if you want to see the lights, if you want to go to a hot springs in Alaska, there are other resources there. There are other ways to do it. Don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. Okay? Ciao. See you guys. Till next time.